Greetings everyone and welcome back to the bench. I have a gift sent in from a viewer. It appears to be one of those soldering helping hand type things. So yeah, really appreciate that. Look at the uh, packaging this came in. Look at the size of this envelope. It's a padded envelope. Here's the item. <laughs> Here's the packaging. I mean, couldn't they just use one of those little, smaller size versions of these? It's just so wasteful. Anyway. So yeah, I will put this together and uh, see what it's all about. See if it works halfway decent. And uh, I think somebody else tried to send me something. I got this message. It says, final notice, article will be returned to sender on Tuesday, 126. So, somebody must have sent me an item. And uh, I didn't get to the P.O. box to get it. What happens is, I have a P.O. box. It's a small size. And you can send, really, any size package. If it doesn't fit in the box, they'll just set it aside and put a notice in your box telling you it's there. That's the way it was with this gigantic package here. I remember somebody telling me they were going to send a package. And I stopped at the post office a couple times and nothing was there. So I figured either they uh, changed their mind or, you know, I just forgot about it. So that's a shame. So, whoever sent that, I apologize. Sorry about that. Kind of a waste of your money. You sent the item and they sent it back. Or sent it to... From wherever it came from. Like in this case, they, they just sent it direct from Amazon or... Wherever it came from. But yeah, I did not get the package. If you do send me a package, make sure you let me know. And if possible give me some sort of tracking number otherwise I won't get to the post office and be able to check my PO box and if they can't fit it in that little pigeonhole they'll hold on to it for a week or so and then it'll go back yeah that's unfortunate but anyway let me put this thing together here and uh, see what it's all about so here it is, the soldering tentacle. <laughs> it doesn't come with any sort of instructions, but it's pretty obvious how it assembles. You just screw each arm into the base, and then this, this goes, it's hard to manipulate it one-handed, but this uh, clamps onto the side of a table. And you push the little clips into the end. So let me set it up here and uh, give you an example. I don't really have anything to solder, but I can uh, give you an example how to use it. So here's what this thing's called. The Maglong Helping Hands Soldering Station with three flexible arms from Amazon. So I clamped it to the table. And, yeah, just for an example, I put a PC board, a perf board here, and the other arm could hold something else, like a component or a wire. And, of course, you'll have your hands free for soldering now. So, yeah, thanks a lot. That'll come in handy. Really appreciate that. Well, Snickers is 15 now. And, unfortunately, over the last few weeks, he's starting to have health issues. And I'm not sure if he can see all that well. I mean, he can see, but he can't see small details anymore. I just kind of noticed that. So I took him to the vet and had blood work done. For right now, we're putting him on a better diet. He's had, he always had canned food and dry food, but the doctor says dry food's poor for a cat. And also to put him on a better quality canned food, so that's what I'm doing. Plus, uh, trying to get him to eat more. He's lost a lot of weight. The good news is that he's eating a lot more now, and uh, he's using the litter box just fine, but you know, he still seems kind of, you know, bummed out. 
If you lost your vision, you might be bummed out too, but kind of worried about my boy. Hopefully he's all right. He gets better. But just wanted to let you know what's going on there. Right, Snick? Last but not least, I want to give a couple channel shout outs. I'll put the links in the description. First up is Kiss Analog at Yahoo. He's the one who sent me the Tektronix multimeter. I certainly do appreciate that. You might want to check his channel out because he does audio amplifier videos, um, some power supply design videos, as well as test equipment. So, yeah, he has quite a bit in the background. I know he's worked professionally designing power supplies. So yeah, give him a shout out. I'm sure he would really appreciate that. The next channel is Hill's Workbench. He also has an electronics channel. He's a personal friend of mine. I go up to Michigan usually once a year and we'll do outdoor activities like trail riding on our bikes, canoeing, sightseeing, things like that. Well, he has a few decent videos. He used to be a cable TV line tech and he did a neat series on how the cable system works for, you know, cable, internet, fiber and all that stuff. It's pretty neat how they send all those signals out and how the signals get back, some of the issues they have and the equipment they use and the line amplifiers and how they get power onto those lines. I thought it was pretty neat. So you might want to check that out. That's it for this. Thanks for watching.